Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to episode 270, Rosie's not here so I can't remember, of the Spearhead Sundays podcast. I'm joined by uh, unemployed homeless man, <laughs> Keelan Brown. Oh, I'm sad and unemployed. Boo-hoo. you come here to ask for a favour, I presume. <laughs> what do you want? A couple bucks. A couple. Please. <laughs> You're asking the wrong guy, man. <laughs> I spent all my money on my fucking teeth and look what they did to me. You look cute. I'm at full expansion now. It's no... You kept going, oh, it's three times... It's going to get three times as big. It's fine. It looks good. Mate, it got three times bigger. It's so big. I can fit my fucking thumb in it. Yeah, I don't see it as that bad. It's, uh... No, look, it's not that bad, but I'm starting to get looks. (laughs) (laughs) Do you want to get fired again? Do you want to get fired twice? I'm here for free. Yeah, you're just... Now, you know what? Now you're just my mate. <laughs> so so I can't go, hey, stop that. <laughs> Dude, you'll get in big trouble. <laughs> All I can go is, uh, I didn't like that. Yeah. Please don't do it again. <laughs> it's damaging our friendship. <laughs> it's a, look, I don't have a lisp. I do not have a lisp. All right? <laughs> I don't have a lisp. I look like I should have one. No, you don't. You sound fine. I sound like I'm I'm talking with my mouth full all the time because yeah. I am. <laughs> but I don't have a lisp. I look like I should have a lisp, and then I'll say some words wrong. People go, "Oh, he's lisping." You, <laughs> you say ninety nine percent of the words correctly. Yeah, but but I also but I also like say a lot of words wrong. Everyone keeps going, "Oh, you sound fine. You sound fine." But I also keep hearing, "What? What was that?" <laughs> Huh? You do. We, What'd you say? When we were on the phone the other day for like half an hour, y- yeah. you sounded fine. You sounded like normal. Yeah. It's, it's very it's much... Every now and then. Yeah. Where where I say something and someone goes, what? <laughs> and I go, I, I'm sorry. I thought, you said, you, I thought you said that I sounded fine. No, you do. Yeah. You do, I right. do. I do for the most part. You know what's frustrating about having this? Mm. The most frustrating bit is, is like I had six weeks off. And I'm like, man, I'm going to come back super strong. Or, as people think I might say, super throng. <laughs> I'm going to come back super throng here and I'm going to release some fucking banger videos. And I did. Yeah, you've got that, that Tony Abbott one coming out? Tony Abbott one. I think that's out now. Fuck I put yeah. out the Ezra Miller sketch. That's a good one. That was funny. I've done a bi-monthly ball. I read I'm- one of the, the, the Mr. Beast paragraph. That was very funny. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so that's actually a modified joke that I toned down, but I'll say the original joke yeah. on the podcast. So um, Mr. Beast is on a challenge where he doesn't eat for a month. And I wrote, Mr. Beast has released a shocking new video where he doesn't eat for a month, but I'm not impressed by anything that a teenage girl can do. <laughs> yeah, that's what I read. Yeah. So the original joke was, who gives a fuck? Eugenia Cooney's been doing that for years. <laughs> Which I thought is funnier, but it, maybe a little mean. It was a very like kind of tone deaf video. I haven't watched it. I just saw the thumbnail and then I asked someone else, "Does he actually do it he for th- a month?" And they go, "He does it for two weeks." Yeah, it's. I watched it and I was like, "What's the what's the bit here?" Yeah, I don't know about it, I don't know about like I didn't eat for two. Like that's some shit that's gonna get people killed and make yeah. teenage girls go. You mean I can do it for two weeks? <laughs> <laughs> All right. In the video, he keeps going, do not do this. It's bad. Consult a doctor, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Why? Don't even upload I wish it. he did that. It wasn't even a good video. Like I wish he had those little disclaimers when he was like um, doing his giving money to homeless people videos. Where he said, <laughs> do not do this. These people should have jobs. They should be working. Do not <laughs> enable them like I am. They're lazy. When? <laughs> if they stopped doing drugs, I wouldn't have to do this. The homeless problem over there is so much more prevalent than it is here. It's it's horrific, and it seems like it's getting way, way worse. When I saw it pre-COVID, when I did Spears vs. America in, like, what was that, 2019? Yeah. It was, Skid Row was, like, one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life, and now it looks like the whole country is Skid oh Row. Oh, God, I know. So, my first host father, real southern man. Because you live there, if you don't know, Keelan is just some bloke I know. <laughs> um, just a mate. Uh, and, and if you're hiring, he's interested. Mm. Um, and you you actually lived in America while you were doing high school. When I was 16, I lived yeah. in North Carolina yeah. for the whole year of 2016. Yeah. And me and my host father are driving down to the shops one day 
and he's lecturing me about homeless people. Yeah. <laughs> and how you should never respect them or look at them in the eye. <laughs> Because, because they're lesser. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dude, that's yeah. great. I love that half the country thinks that. But then when I'm here, if I'm like, I'll always help out someone if I can. If yeah. I see someone who's struggling and I have food, I'll give it to them or I'll give them money. Yeah, you, you go, you get, look, man, I totally get it. Yeah. I'm I, also I'm on your side. I'm times are tough. Well, now yeah, I've we're been hanging out together. with them, yeah. asking for tips. <laughs> No, but homeless people here are different. Like, when I see a homeless person in Australia, I'm like, "I, re- you can do it." Yeah, you know, like, oh yeah, it, you can get out of this. And even sometimes I'll see a homeless person and I'll go, "He's decided to do that." Yeah, you know, like I was driving down St Kilda the other day, and there's a woman with a full bed spread laid out. Yeah, on this on the uh, footpath, just like having a having a good love and life. Some yeah. some of them have dogs. <laughs> You know, they're they're like being a homeless person here is so good that some people pretend to be homeless and then go home to their home. Yeah, and and their nine to five is pretending to be a homeless person asking for money. In America, I saw homeless people that was like, "Oh, you're fucked, and this is it for you. This is the end of the road. And unless the whole country changes, Mm. your life doesn't. It's over. You can't get out of this." No. Have you seen Into the Wild? The movie about the guy who just, like, disappears from his life. No. No. He So, uh, he just, like... Sounds great. It is really good. You'd love it. Yeah. He dies, though. He eats bad berries and he dies. Oh. Um, well, okay, well, the, the one, <laughs> Sorry. Is that the end of the movie? <laughs> and why, why do I even... Every, you know how many times you've done this to me? <laughs> Have you seen Sorry. this film? No, it sounds great. Yeah, yeah. This happens. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Okay, well, I've seen it now. He, he's just like a normal guy, like my age, like early 20s. Yeah. He just decides he wants to move to Alaska, so he just leaves home one That's day. how you'll die. Yeah, that's what I'll do. That's, not... not Oh, leaving your life and being home. Bad just berries. Eat, no, not bad berries. Just, uh, just eating something wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just eating Kidneys the wrong will thing. Explode. Yeah, you'll die. It'll be like, your body will be like, yeah, that's enough. <laughs> we can't handle this anymore. There's a scene where he makes his way down to LA and he goes to like this homeless shelter. Interesting. I'm touring at the moment. Loosespears.com. <laughs> I forgot to plug it at the start of the episode. I'm coming to uh, Brisbane, Gold Coast, Sydney, New- Newcastle. Uh, uh, Perth might be on sale, so maybe it's Adelaide, but I also know that Geelong, Ballarat, and Melbourne are also on sale, loosebears.com. Anyway, your, your little movie, what we were talking about? So I forgot to do that at the start of the episode. And, no, and no, if, I, if I didn't stop you, I wouldn't have done it at all. <laughs> that's all good. That's it. He yeah. goes to a homeless shelter, and I've mm. never seen one other than in The Simpsons, so it was pretty interesting to watch. And the, the one in The Simpsons looks good. It looks like a cafeteria, <laughs> yeah. but all the all the kids are old and are wearing weird things. Yeah. Um, I assume a, a cafeteria, they don't have those in America at all. Cafeteria? Yeah, for homeless people. Oh. No, no, because I volunteered at a homeless shelter when I did, was yeah. in America. Right. I cooked food and served it to people. What did your I host did father say? You know, <laughs> this See, is a different family. You, oh, good. He wouldn't. He would. He would have kicked you out. I. You want to be homeless so bad? I can make that happen. <laughs> I go back to America in like two days. Yeah. And I've just been flooded. Oh with, yeah, that's why Keelan's here because you're going to be gone for for months. For like six months. Three months. Three months. Three and a half. You're going to die there. Joseph Green has a, a little comedy special we're putting together at the end of at the start of November, so I have yeah. to be back for that. That's good. Yeah. Um. So I've been flooded with all these memories I had. Yeah. I used to host a local TV um, news show every Thursday at 5 p.m. <laughs> you never, you oh, never you even mentioned it. I'd come You never mentioned that. I know. You hosted like on TV. Like, yeah, like local, like Channel 31. Yeah. Yes, but. Um, I'll give the Australian kid a show. Yeah, I was a TV news host and just talked about the local school county. That's great. I completely forgot about it. Did you it. break any stories? Uh, no, you couldn't. The way the news worked there, it was a pre-written script. Oh, right. So, yeah. A bit bullshit. Yeah. But I was very good. But you didn't bust it open from the inside? Mm. Say, this is, they're lying to you. This is bullshit. <laughs> they, I'm reading for a script. <laughs> You're was, being manipulated. It was very mundane and nothing like we have here. Imagine if here they were like, in today's top story, Frankston High School wins football. Yeah. All right. Now we now we hear from their coach. The coach is just like, yeah, we did a good job. Yeah, and that's what drunk. it was. I I think it was just so students got to go. Yeah, can yeah. have a little practice. That's good. Their mums are watching at home. Yeah, 
That's really good. There's Madeline some, there's some homeless, homeless cunt with a generator, got a big spread, <laughs> massive six dogs. Watching the local school news. Mm. I think I did a good job. And then my friend, she was like the editor. So yeah. as the show was going live, she was hitting all the cues. It was That's cool. good. That's good. You know, um, do you think that like the homeless shit that I saw, I just thought now, if they don't fix it, <laughs> that <laughs> it's going to be like... A generation of homeless people. Yeah. You know? Like, well, did that. Because, like, like, in Skid Row and shit, I saw, it was a town, like a whole town of homeless people, and they had their, their setups and they had they were living life mm. as if it was, it was like a refugee camp. But if yeah. they leave that alone for 20 years, all those people will have kids, and then you'll have homeless kids that were born homeless. Yeah. What do you do then? I don't know. You look at you look at a little two year old and you go, work harder. <laughs> You're lazy. Get a job, you bum. Get some clean clothes. Get, Get a job off interview. The drugs. Your job interview. I could go for one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I recently lost my job. Ah, oh, that sucks. Promised job security. Sign the contract. Uh, you were explicitly not <laughs> promised job security. I remember the the day yeah. I said you can choose Lewis Spears or Luke and Lewis. And I tell you that security is with me. And you were like, let's roll the dice. I'm like, all right. Six months later. And whose fault is that? That's, That's uh, circumstance. <laughs> Fucking circumstance. I was quitting anyway. Yeah, I, I heard about that. <laughs> Fucking COVID. No. Um, what were we talking about? Uh, we were talking about homeless people. And then we were talking about oh, my teeth. Right. And then you were talking about your time in America. Yeah. And you were on the news. I was on the news. Infowars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Alex Jones was I my wish boss. They had a, I wish they never banned Infowars because now you know they would have a children's channel. For kids. By 100%. Kids. Yeah. You they know were, what it was? It was like that, that episode of The Simpsons. News for kids by kids. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. I want Infowars for kids because they would have Barney. Right, and it's the same show, but they'd never call it Barney. They'd call it Hillary Clinton. <laughs> it's a big lizard. <laughs> Here's Hillary. <laughs> She's always says, like, "Ah, what a drink of your blood." <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. And then they Sorry, and then they take I'm some sick. fucking some like alpha brain, and it runs away. I feel like every time I'm on a podcast with you, I'm sick. Mm. Or I'm just always sick. Maybe that's it. I think you're sick often. Mm. Yeah. yeah that's... You definitely are sick all the time. And, yeah. I, and I also hear things from you like, man, I'm, I don't eat food. <laughs> and man, I had, I had only one of these foods for three weeks. Yeah. Pretty. Um, Your whole life is a Mr. Beast challenge video. Today, much. I'm going to see if I can survive on only liquids. But there's a twist. It's only V. <laughs> it's only prime energy. <laughs> Man, Prime Energy sucks. No, it doesn't. It's good. Don't say that. Don't say that. I'm Why like, not? It's bad. It tastes like it's really like American and corn syrupy. But there's... Oh, yeah. I oh, can yeah, taste yeah, yeah. the but artificialness. lemon lime is good. No, lemon lime uh, tastes like sour cum. And I've had that before. <laughs> so I know exactly what it tastes like. Ta- no, that's the best Purple one. was good. Purple was... Purple was... Purple was the best thing that I had ever had, but... Uh, I had a second mouthful and my whole body was like, don't do this to us. They they have a a a lollipop, not lollipop, like... An American flag American color? flag one, yeah. So on Thursday... What does that taste like? Children bleeding out on the floor of a school? <laughs> I'll, let, I'll let you know on Thursday. <laughs> I'm going to go to Walmart when I land in Hawaii and I'm just going to be like... <laughs> You are such a dork. You'll go into America and your first stop is Walmart. Yeah. I'm Actually, gonna... what else is there to do? Well, I'll be in... In Hawaii. Waikiki. Like, what do they have? They're not really known for activities or tourism. Uh, there's, a, there's a beach. There's a cool beach that Elvis went to once. Yeah. And there's the place where the Japanese flew their f- planes. Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor. Yeah. yeah that's and good. There's a Denny's. <laughs> I can I can just tell about which ones you're most excited <laughs> about by your tone. Walmart. You're like, well, there's beach, and there's Pearl Harbor, it's historical aside. There's a Denny's. <laughs> I'll make you pancakes at 4 a.m. Oh, yeah. You might get shot in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to make it. I'm sick. You're going to gonna... give them, whoever you're sitting next to on the flight, you're going to give them a panic attack. Dude. Oh, my God. You know they don't require any testing. 
before or after the plane. You just have the to testing's wear a mask. done now in Australia to come and go. They changed it. It's like it never happened. Ruin my life for nothing. <sighs> Sorry, it's I need to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll take a break. You're all right. It's just my throat is just fucked. All right, what from? Just the cold I had last week. Oh, everyone had a cold last week. I know it was bad. Yeah, I thought it was. Gonna, it was worse than COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, people going, oh, COVID's just a flu. And then the real flu comes around and goes, what the fuck are you saying about me? <laughs> you guys, it's like the, the flu herd is talking shit. <laughs> oh, the flu's not bad. And the flu was like, what the fuck did you just say? Idiot. I'll show you a fucking flu. <laughs> I, I don't Give wanna, me your grandparents. I don't want to talk about COVID conspiracies on a podcast. Okay. It's not a conspiracy. Oh, no. just like, the flu is sentient and the herd <laughs> is talking shit. That's real. I'm not talking about COVID. I'm talking about the flu. Um... So, do you want to hear about my trip? Is that interesting yeah. to people who are not my friends? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I guess uh, it has to be. You're I think. For I, an hour. Look, I think it's interesting because you're not doing what you should be doing when you go on a trip. What's that? Well, where are you going? So I'm landing in Hawaii mm -hmm. for the, for 20 hours. Yeah. Which wrong? What? Well, you should think Hawaii isn't like a, a stopover place, you know? Hawaii is like a destination. <laughs> if you're in Hawaii, you're like, oh, I might as well stay here for a week. So I think the last time I was on Spirit Sundays, I said I was just going to take a backpack. Yeah. But then my trip has extended about three months. So, yeah. <laughs> so I'm now taking bags. Right. Yeah. But I, but I also know that you're only going to use like a backpack worth of clothes. Yeah. So what else are you bringing? What's what's made it into the bag that wasn't there before? Just actually like fifteen pairs of underwear. Yeah, yeah, and like a lot of socks. The yeah. bag's not huge. It's like my little duffel bag that I've taken. I take mm. a lot, so yeah. it's not massive. Okay, I'll allow I'll just, it. I'll just buy stuff while I'm there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm landing in Hawaii, yeah. but then I've realized that because it's a a layover, blah blah. I, yeah, I'm Phoebe's put the doubt in my mind that maybe I might not be able to leave the airport. Pretty sure when you land in America, no matter if it's a layover or if it's a final destination, you have to get your bags and exit customs. No, she might be right. She might uh, be, but I've no. I've entered the US about three I or four times. I did a layover when I went to, because um, I went to New York first and then LA, but I, I went via LA. So I went to LA first yeah. For a stopover and then went to New York. And you have to stop, get your bags, and then go back through international. Fuck, I can't remember. I was, oh, I no, was so no, exhausted. You get your bags out of international and then go into domestic. I'm pretty sure. Because I, I did no, do it about three or four times. I think, I might be remembering it wrong, but I only remember going through customs once. Because I remember they, the guy terrified me. Was that at LA? You know, no, that was in New York. So I think I'm pretty sure that I yeah I only went through customs once because it was terrifying. Yeah. The guy asked me all these questions that I wasn't ready for. I bet it's like, where are you staying? And I was like, New York. And he goes, where? I'm like, ah, oh, in the city. And he goes, where in the city? And I, I'm like, at an Airbnb. He goes, where are you staying? And then I start panicking. I'm like, uh, I don't know. I, what do you mean you don't know? I'm like, I can't remember. You can't remember where you're staying? I'm like, oh, it's in my phone. And he goes. What? So you don't even remember where you're staying? Why are you here? And then he got angry with me. I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm going to get deported. I'm like, oh, I'm just here to, I'm here to see New York. And he goes, where? I'm like, I don't know. Oh, my God. And then, and then he worked out that I was an idiot, not a terrorist. Yeah, yeah. And then he just let me go in. Yeah, I had to sign on my Esther that I'm not a terrorist and I'm not, under, mm. I'm not here under any terrorist organization. That's a strange question to ask because... Of course, everyone would say no, but I, I, I said to you, I bet so many people click the wrong box. I reckon go, it, might yes. be, it might be tracked. It might be a thing of like, if you do me like as, as a meme, hit yes, and mm. then unclick it, it might still deny you. Because <laughs> no, no one's ever going to say, yeah, I am. I'm part of ISIS. The straight, it's a hack joke, but it's a, it's a no terrorist is going to be like, oh, what am I going to do, lie? <laughs> going to tell the truth here or they won't let me in. So I guess, you know, I'll give you a call when mm. I land in Hawaii. I'll either be calling you from the beach or I'll be calling you from the terminal. I reckon terminal. you're in the terminal for 20 hours. Yeah. Fuck! I think you are because I... No, it's not. because I think I was there for four hours in LA before I had to go from LA to New York. Because I, I flew in. I flew in from Italy once and I landed in DC and then I had to get my bags, go through customs and mm. then 
go back through. It's probably different everywhere. Yeah. And we have no idea what we're talking about. I'll let you know. Comment below. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to LA for like six hours. Yeah. And which Wrong is, again. Well, there's nothing to do in LA. That is that is true. LA is a fucking shithole. I hated it. I went there once for a day. Imagine I'm clapping my hand, like wiping my hands. I hated I've every moment that I've I was in it. LA. I had one good experience and that was at the comedy store and every everything <laughs> else I fucking hated it. Yeah, you need a car there. Yeah, awful. Yeah. It's like... Uh, the the least walkable place I've ever been in my life. I know Lachlan Fairbairn and Liam Dowling are there currently. They yeah. seem like they're having fun, but they're hanging out with. They go I was there by every myself. Night. I didn't really know anyone. Yeah. Like I, I didn't. I in in New York, I knew comedians. In LA, I didn't know anybody. And from there, that night, I'm taking a bus to San Francisco. Wrong. No, that's that's good. <laughs> I like that. San Fran's a cool place. And I'm hang- got trams. Yeah, yeah. I'm hanging out with my my friend. Mm-hmm. For a couple of days. Yeah, that's well, good. He hasn't right? confirmed. Your first correct choice. Yeah, wait on. <laughs> what did you say then? <laughs> he hasn't confirmed. Wrong. Okay. So you can't rock up to a city and be like, hey, you busy? He lives in Berkeley, which apparently is near San Francisco. And I've just been like, hey, I'm in San Fran from these days. Mm. If you're around, let me know. And What's plan B? I'll just hang out by myself. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty good at doing that. I think that's the way to enjoy travel. I would just like to see him. He's a Good friend. Yeah. 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 But um, I reckon by yourself is the way to travel. And 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 you hang out with acquaintances. Acquaintances, yeah. Once. And you have a sick night and then and then there's no pressure to see him again. Well, if anyone's in when this episode comes out, I think I will it'll be my last day in San Francisco. So if you're in San Fran and want to hang out, hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> this is how little planning you've done. And I like this though. And then this that, is on brand. That night, because yeah. I, I refuse mm-hmm. i will never take a morning flight as choice by choice right i'm flying from san francisco to north carolina right wrong who goes to north carolina what's yeah. there my friends right my well, like some of my best friends oh really yeah yeah oh, oh. what are you gonna do <laughs> hang out watch community tv <laughs> <laughs> nah we're gonna hang out and play with fireworks today's fourth of july so i've told them to stockpile some fireworks okay that is cool that is cool um and go to uh, a place called Sawmill. What's that? Just a shit restaurant. <laughs> or this, this like... It sounds like a shit restaurant. Really specific North Carolina, Ian, I don't know what it is. North Car- Carolinian. Carolinian. Uh, Carolinian fast food place called Cookout. Oh my God, it's awful. Yeah. But it's good. Yeah. So you're just going to be eating, living the sizzler lifestyle. Yes. And there's like, or you can eat. There's a all you can eat like burrito place, burrito bowl place. I'm yeah. I'm stoked. I can't. That's wait. awesome. Yeah, I uh, eating, and and but you're not just doing America, also. No, and then and then I'm going to New York a few weeks later, and from New York, correct? Yes, correct. How long are you there for? Two weeks. Nice. Eleven. Well, eleven days. Yeah. Nice. Um, staying in a hostel. Yeah. Yeah, which is fine. Hope you don't get robbed. You're gonna take the laptop with you everywhere. I reckon. I think you can. I've I've bought myself a lock, so I just lock it all up. Yeah, yeah. I would. I, I feel like I'd have more risk of getting robbed <clears throat> walking around with it than not. That's probably true. That's probably true. Well, so my laptop's not very good, and I've got insurance, so <laughs> it might be a blessing in disguise. <laughs> okay, that's good. And, yeah, and, and then, no plans in New York. Just n- seeing, no, just seeing stuff. No, nah, that's cool. I like New York because you can just wake up and go. It can be like four a.m. Mm. And you can be like, oh, I need pens, but I also feel like pancakes. And then I would like to go to a strip club. And you can just walk in one direction and God. you'll find all three of those things in your route, no matter where you're going. I'm staying in this town in Wilming- in North Carolina called Wilmington. This is where yeah. my friends and I are staying. Well, that's where they live. I'm staying yeah. with my friends. We're going to the local strip club. and then That's my- so good. And my friend... Uh, is this like a small town? Like I'm in a well, cave. The sun's not going behind the mountain. It's not a small town. It's like Frankston. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, but but if Frankston had a strip club, it would be grim. <laughs> yeah. You know, so that's it, Frankston is not a place that should have a strip club. Yeah, it's a bit bigger than Frankston, but yeah, definitely shouldn't have a strip club. And my friend, I bleep his name when I just said it before. 
he called me the other day. He's like, dude, do you want to drive to Atlanta and go to the strip clubs there? I was like, of course. That would be awesome. That would be fun. That'd be crazy. We're going to road trip to like Tennessee and a few other places as yeah, well. Yeah, that's, uh, that's very awesome. I'm very jealous. But from New York, I'm flying over to Germany mm-hmm. to, to see my girlfriend. Gay. <laughs> and then from Germany, we're going to England together. And then she's going to Spain. And from England, I'm coming back to America. <laughs> okay, wrong. What do you mean? Well, you're wasting money. Yeah, well, so remember when I booked the flight, yeah. I booked it on July 7 because that's when Luke was going on his massive tour. Yes. So that's like we months ago had planned, yeah, yeah, we will do 12 episodes of Luke and Lewis in three weeks. It's okay. We can film that. Yeah, yeah. And we did. <laughs> and we did. Uh <laughs> And so I was like, and okay. they're coming out soon. They're great. <laughs> July, July seven. So I can take I can take a short break while yeah. Luke's away. Yeah. Cool. So I was gonna go. I mean, you know what? I like that. I'm gonna kick my feet up for a bit. <laughs> I was gonna go to Germany, while working. By the way, yeah. uploading every week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, <laughs> <laughs> why did the show end? <laughs> what do you think? You reckon this guy was gonna fucking in Germany be uploading Luke and Lewis episodes? Yes. Working out the date of the time conversion. <laughs> Yeah, one episode would come out at 4am Australian time, another one would be three days late, it'd be half <laughs> uploaded, and then all of them would suck too, because yeah. it'd be us like, we're putting on a different t-shirt and pretending we didn't speak just 30 seconds before. <laughs> Sorry, this is our fourth episode of today. Um, <laughs> and from, from, from America, then my friend Evan and I are going to Puerto Rico. Right. Yeah. And then- You're expecting to make a lot of money. You don't want to pay tax. <laughs> I'm going to go hang out with Logan Paul yeah, in Puerto nice. Rico. Yeah. So don't say that Prime's bad. Oh, okay. Yeah. Prime's great. I love Anyway, man, American can I have flavor. a job? Mm-hmm. You know he's hiring right now? I saw. You should apply. I don't have a resume. Oh. I've had a job for four years. I'll be a reference. <laughs> you would have a sick resume. I would. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. know. I know, my LinkedIn is lit. I keep getting really awesome job requests. Actually? Recommendations, rather. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Well, um, just tell me what to say, because if I, if I tell the truth on the reference, <laughs> it's not going to be good for you. <laughs> and then from- Yeah, he's a good mate. After, <laughs> after Puerto Rico, I'm going back to America. I'm going to go to Oregon to, to the mm-hmm. last blockbuster. Nice. That's good. Um, that justifies the whole trip. Oh, when I'm in England, I'm actually so stoked for this. I'm seeing Lime Cordial. Yeah. Oh, my God. That I'm is cool. And actually, is it going to be a tiny little venue? Uh, Must be. I saw them at the Enmore, and then I saw them at Sydney Meyer Bowl, which is like 3,000. I think anything... It's very big here. Anything is going to be small yeah. compared to Sydney Meyer Bowl. Well, it's going to be... I don't know. I guess it depends how big they are in, in England. I think a few hundred at least. Yeah. That's kind of small. I don't know. I, I, I think I think that the minute you do a show outside of where you're from, that's a big show. They've been doing shows in Germany at the moment. They seem like they're two, three hundred people. Is there tissues around? Uh, uh, this, this episode is chaotic a little bit. Manscaped.com. Use code SPEARS for 20% off and free shipping. You can literally shave your entire body with this thing. If you're ever feeling self-conscious about your body, shave your arm, go to the gym after a pump. It looks fucking lit. <laughs> and you can do that with the Lawnmower 4.0. The best, uh, well, private grooming area shaver in the world, but that can also be used for arms if you would like to feel better about your body after the gym. <laughs> Use code SPEARS for 20% off and free shipping. Genuinely a great product. Everybody in my life uses it, uh, and uh, it works great. I've run out of ways to tell you how this thing is good. I know what to say. I use it on my head. I use it on my nuts. It's really good. Um, looks good. I can get a really nice beard. I actually need to use it. I'm disheveled at the moment. I'm going to use it tomorrow, and uh, in the next video, I'm going to be looking good. And... I'm going to use code SPEARS to get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. Support the brands that support the show. And let's get right back to Keelan's story. Uh, um, so I'm going to go to Blockbuster yeah. in Oregon. Mm-hmm. Gonna, um, I think I'll spend like a few days in LA. I want to see all like the comedians in LA. Yeah, that'd be sick. I think, I think the better shows are in New York now. Although LA, I don't know. It seems like it's all like spread out now. Mm. I just really want to see Chris D'Elia. Yeah. 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 Actually. Yeah, Keelan became a real big fan of him recently. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> like um, April 2020. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually do really want to see him. I- He's very fucking funny. He's yeah. really, really good. Yeah. Um, I saw, I got to see Brian Callen. He was very good. 
I saw I saw you Bill Burr do a drop. Big fan in of him set. as well. Yeah. <laughs> I saw Bill Burr drop in and oh, yeah. I almost cried when he came out because it wasn't announced. Oh, that's cool. And he came out and he did this fucking amazing routine about uh, just trashing soldiers. And it was <laughs> so good. That's good. Yeah. Um, so that's cool, man. I'm very jealous. Well, I, I can't wait. From to LA. Leave. Yeah. I'm okay. then going to Bali for three weeks with my friend. Yes. Wait, three weeks? Yeah. Wrong. Too long. No, no, no. Not too long because this is, this is how good... The trip's going to be. Yeah. Evan and I are going to pull up to Indo, hang out, have some fun. A couple of days later, my girlfriend, Phoebe's right, going to meet don't us. Don't ever say Indo again. <laughs> that was the most American thing I've ever heard you say. Yeah. Dude, let's go to Indo. Indonesia. <laughs> Phoebe's rocking up a few days later. Yeah. Luke's tour finishes when Phoebe rocks up. Okay. So, I'm campaigning hard yeah. for Luke, Meg and Tyler to rock up. Nice. You, you're more than welcome to come. I'd when? love for you to come. October. I'll be touring. Ah. Uh, <sighs> Wait, if we, when When October? October. The start of it? All of it. Yeah, I'm touring. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. I'll be there from the second. So if you want to drop in for a few days. Uh, no. <laughs> I, yeah, I might, I might. You know what? I'll FaceTime you. Yeah. That's all I can do. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck in purgatory at the moment until I get through this year. And then I can maybe think about what I want to do with my life. Well, we can go on a huge holiday next year. Yes. Yes, that would be good. Uh, so I think it will be a lot of fun. If anyone wants to hang out and give me free accommodation when I'm in any of these cities. Or money. Or money. Yeah. Or a job. Or a job. Now, that would be good. I'm Alex. If you're watching, I need a job. <laughs> I'll send this to him. <laughs> um, I, I noticed something um, recently. With my own head, yeah. had it pointed out to me by by Jasmine, my my beautiful girlfriend, who's always kind to me. <laughs> um, I noticed that because my face keeps changing, right? All every day, it keeps changing, and it's going to continue to change for the next eighteen months. Really, every day to look a little bit different. So we keep going. Oh, you look like this now. Oh, you look like that. Maybe you'll look like this at the end of it. Oh no, I think you're going to look like that. So we, as my face evolves, we keep kind of going, oh, what's going on? Now, Jasmine uh, just noticed something about me uh, and my teeth that's horrifying. Now, this is the right side of my face. How handsome is that guy? He's a good-looking bloke. <laughs> really good-looking dude. Like, that's – I see that and I go, man, I'm going to – the end of all this, I'm going to be a fucking rooster. Friendly face. Yeah. I'd let that guy pick my kids up from school. So would I. I would insist. I, w I, wouldn't p I would refuse to pick my own kids up from school if this guy was around. I'd say, you do it. You'll be a better father than me. <laughs> yeah. This is the other side of my face. <laughs> now, that's perfectly down the middle. Look at my face. Which means that I've got Tom Cruise teeth. They're not symmetrical. Yeah. No. <laughs> that's so funny. I don't know what... I, I, I might end up with the front tooth... <laughs> Underneath my fucking nose like Tom Cruise. Yeah, I see it now. It's really... That's it's so this. funny. It's not symmetrical at all. Oh, I love it. I hope they... I don't know. They can't... The My thing is the braces will just pull the teeth in like at the same time. And mm. if one's further over than the other, they're going to meet not in Surely the middle. The, the dentist will move them. Sometime. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so, but between now and the second surgery, like 12, 18 months, I'm going to have Tom Cruise mouth. You go like that, look at this, my, fr my front tooth is here, my gap is on the other side. That's very funny. What's going on? So, that's good. Uh, I really want to tell you this story about the cafe I went to the other okay. day. Okay, all right. So, uh, Phoebe and I went out on Sunday to a cafe called this, this will be like a, a like a precursor to the story that you're like man i've got a great story to tell you but only for the patreon <laughs> oh no it's not, it's not okay um so we went out to any mini and frankson nice. which you and i both love going to huge fan of that place they if, do a great porridge if you which go is the only thing i can eat right ask now. for the banana porridge and tell keelan tell them keelan sent you no no no. ask for the porridge and say can you swap the pear for banana and then say because Keelan told me. No, just say, can I get... The, I say, I always say, and I have for years, can mm. I just have banana porridge? Yeah. 
Yeah. That's don't worry about no, asking no, no. for the pair. No, they change the menu. Yeah, but just say banana porridge and they know what you mean. And say and Keelan sent you. Okay. Sent look, me. Just just say this. <laughs> go to the cafe, sit down, and they come up to you and they offer you a menu and you go, mm mm mm. Keelan sent me. <laughs> and they'll know what to bring you. Yeah. Actually go and, and say one of the many things we've said. Yeah. Uh really great meal. We I have I've been drinking um I've been getting ice long blacks like what rosie always gets mm -hmm. getting another glass of ice mm -hmm. and then getting a coca-cola mm -hmm. and mixing the two and drinking them <laughs> you're like, what yeah, yeah you're mixing coke and coffee yeah in the same glass beautiful why who taught you this myself because <laughs> i was out i was like rosie's been always going on about yeah. ice long blacks yeah and i was like, i'm gonna have one it was delicious and i was like you know what would be better mm. This with a coke, <laughs> man. It's still anyway. That's so it ended up being quite expensive, been like forty five dollars or something. We yeah. go up to pay, and there's a guy my age there, and he's just like some shit where you go fucking inflation. Then you remember, oh hang on, what did I order again? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's me. That's my fault. Yeah. And and he's like, <clears throat> he's can, the staff are really confused, and I thought he was being an asshole by the way the staff was acting. Yeah, they were like. Oh, like a coffee, that's like five dollars. Mm. And he's like, Oh, he's like, Yeah, coffee, the coffee. And then he looked at us and he's like, What did you guys get? And I was like, <laughs> Phoebe just goes, Oh, we just got coffee. And I was like, Oh, I got porridge. And he's like, Yeah, 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 yeah. What whatever they got, whatever they got. And then I was just like, Oh, okay. Guys just being an asshole, being a bit difficult. Yeah. And then he and then on <laughs> on the on the on the till, it comes up as forty five dollars. And he's like yeah, all right, I guess I'll pay it. And he looks at us and he goes, I'm paying it forward. <laughs> and then he pays. But it was just him and his girlfriend and all they'd got is coffee each. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you made this guy pay. But I had no idea he was doing it because he did it in the... If he'd been like, hey, guys, I want to pay it forward. What did you have for yeah. lunch? And I would have said, no, it's way too expensive. We'll get it ourselves. You can pay someone else. Isn't isn't the pay it forward thing supposed to be more like you give the cafe twenty bucks and and then you say if like a homeless person who needs it comes in, there's a twenty dollar limit they can spend on whatever they would like. Yeah. Instead of just buy, I mean, you are you are jobless. <laughs> Fuck, I'm homeless and homeless. Oh. So I guess he he accidentally fucking nailed it. <laughs> I was like, too, he didn't look too impressed after he paid, but he'd already said he can't out of that mm. i was like well that's very lovely thank you so much and he's yeah. like yeah yeah have a good day we then paid for the, we're like okay we'll pay for the next people yeah six bucks nice <laughs> he got fucking ripped nice very good <clears throat> it was very funny i bet the cafe fucking hates that <laughs> if i was if i was working at that cafe and someone was like i'll pay it forward and then the other guy was like i'll pay it forward i'd be like i can't be bothered fucking remembering what? How many spaces forward in the future I'm meant to be actually charging? <laughs> so you would leave the cafe, and then that person who, who you paid six dollars for would come up to the till, and I just go, "That's six bucks, thing." <laughs> yeah. Reset it. Well, it was so little that I was kind of like, "Should we just give the cafe like twenty bucks mm. just to say thank you for being a cafe?" I guess. Anyway, great food. Tell them Keelan sent you. Yeah. <laughs> and and then pay it forward. Yeah. Keelan's actually put down 40 bucks for a few porridges. <laughs> if we go there and say, Keelan's actually uh, sent me and paid for me, they'll know what you mean. That would be the the best thing you could do as like a really rich person. Someone would just like fuck off money. Just go to a restaurant and be like, anyone who orders this dish, yeah. I'll pay for it. Just take it off my card. That would be great. I'm really enjoying this Minions meme. Oh, the Minions. <laughs> I love it. I wish I was 15. You can do it now. I saw them last week, the Minions. In a suit? No. Did you have a rave? <laughs> no. And they played the Yeet song? <laughs> Why the fuck did, they, did Minions give a million dollars to the Yeet guy? Have you ever heard his music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I found out about him because of his Minions meme. I turned on his album and he's just talking about like lean and drugs and alcohol and whores, as he should. As he should. But it's it's just interesting to also hear him do this during the Minions film. It's actually no no cap, a fun movie, a really fun movie. Yeah, and I've seen all the Minions, all the Despicable Me. 
And is it the best? Where would you where would you rank it? I reckon Despicable One is the best one. Minions and then Minions Two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I love that. Um, every now and then, a movie that is purely designed to sell merch comes out, and they accidentally also make it a good film. Yes, it's. I love the the whole thing that's going on with Morbius as well like yeah everyone's pretending they're gonna go see it for a second time so they re-release it it gets eighty thousand dollars in sales so good they just gaslit all of these <laughs> fucking yeah if you put morbius back in the theaters we'll see it and jared then, leto had to leave his fuck island they did like a, a <clears throat> one of those like signature like things what are they called like not a crowdfund but um a petition a petition to yeah. bring it back and it was called like please and he bring it back a third time <laughs> we were sorry we were all busy that weekend <laughs> That is really fucking hilarious. That is just like boomers just not understand the internet at all. Yeah. And you know what? I You can kind of forgive them for that one. <laughs> I thought I thought for a minute that Morbius was going to get a few people. I thought they act... I bet there were a couple people that did go to Morbius, ironically. For sure, because of that meme. I almost went. And then, I almost went too. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, but you know what? If, if someone fucking... If one person posted a video of them in a suit to Morbius, <laughs> we would have been seeing this. It would have been the same meme, but everyone would be screaming, it's Morbin time. <laughs> 100% would have happened. I, I, I'd really like... So the meme is, all these people going to the Minions film wearing suits, and then when the Yeet song comes on, they start having a fucking rave and moshing Dude, and throwing so bananas funny. at the screen. I've seen like six where... Literally 100 people show up in suits and then the police have to be called because they're so rowdy. And now cinemas are banning people from attending any film in a suit. I feel awful because it's school holidays yeah. for America and Australia. Yeah, I feel terrible for families who are like bringing their little kids. And yeah, they're, so coming, they're not coming at like late, late sessions. They're coming yeah. at like 9 a.m. I know. Yes. Some dad who doesn't have TikTok, he goes, oh, let's have a nice day out with the kids. Yeah. I've got a day off work. It's school holidays. I get my one day off a year. <laughs> and then like all of these like 17-year-old boys who don't realize how scary they look in a suit, throwing bananas <laughs> at the screen, making his kids cry. The cops are called. The movie's ruined. When I- Hilarious. <coughs> Excuse me. When I started last week, I, I sat at the back of the cinema with my with my friend Stephen. Yeah, and when the logo the, the minions logo came on, I started wooing and cheering. But I like I shut up pretty quickly. Yeah, and then at the end of the movie, I wooed and cheered as yeah. well. Um, Did anyone join in? A few people joined in when I started clapping at the end. They yeah. all started clapping. It was very funny. <laughs> and if there was like a big punchline yeah. that's not funny, but to kids it's funny, <clears throat> I would like laugh really loud. <laughs> You're obnoxious. It was fun. That is good. I think um, I want to see this Minions meme be done at, like, other venues. Like, I would love to see, like, 117-year-old boys rock up in suits to, like, you know, a, like a, a fucking <laughs> sermon, you know, like a religious sermon. And they rock up with bananas, and every time he says Jesus, they all start going, woo throwing shit, you know. Some old lady gets on stage to play the piano. They start moshing and fighting. <laughs> the police have to be called. I think it oh would be good. God. I'd love to see that type of behavior at funerals. <laughs> you know? But like a really important one, like some state funeral for some governor. Oh, you know? Yeah. Obama flies in. <laughs> All of a sudden, there's thousands of prepubescent boys rock up wearing sunglasses and suits. They can't differentiate them from the Secret Service. <laughs> Until they pull out bananas and start throwing them at the president. It would peak if, you know, like when they have at Kringle Hub or whatever during the school holidays, yeah. they have people dress up in costumes as like the minions. Yeah. It would be funny if there was like the hundred teenage boys just all crowding around the minion there. Yeah, making the poor girl in the suit cry. I I hope they make like a like a play of the minions film and people start doing it. <laughs> And like fucking with the actors live on stage. It's so funny, man. Some poor fucking like performing arts student who wanted to be in Shakespeare, but they're in a giant minion costume going, <laughs> and then someone's like screaming at them. I, 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 I get it, obviously, but I also don't get it because it is a good movie. Yeah. Like, why couldn't it be Ice Age 5 that they did this to? Anytime see it, I don't know. I year. think it's like, it's just because of the song. Oh, that's right. Like, I think that's why. Like, because I, th I think 
the genesis of it was everyone going, hang on a second, why is he eight in the minions? Yeah, that's right. It's you, fucking crazy. You see Mr. Beast did it, but he just mm. booked out the entire cinema. Yes. <laughs> and he wasn't wearing shoes in the video he filmed. That's so funny. He probably ate his shoes after that video. <laughs> um, so you saw Jim Jeffries last night? Man, phenomenal. So fucking good. He did two hours on stage. Mm. Amos Gill, who's a friend, he's done Luke and Lewis before, that old show. Um, yeah. <coughs> he opened, he crushed. Now, you, those of you who don't know, that used to be what paid my bills. Yeah, yeah. Um, I got a text 20 minutes ago saying my phone bills are due by three weeks. That's crazy. What a crazy coincidence. I got a text <laughs> saying that my, my, my gym membership in Hobart is overdue. <laughs> Wait, can we talk about that before yeah. we move on? I, we signed up to the gym, Zap Fitness yeah. in Hobart, yeah. my, like almost 12 months ago now. <laughs> and then when we left, yeah. I called them to like cancel because mm. I did a day where I just went and canceled everything for, yeah. for, for me. Yeah. Um, and... And then I just couldn't get through. And I was like, oh, I'll deal with it later. Yeah. And then six months later at the comedy festival, I get this email and it's like, you've been sent to collections. You owe $300. And then, and the, and Gil goes, oh man, I forgot to cancel my gym membership. I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> As if he didn't do that. Yeah. And then he goes, didn't, did you cancel? I'm like, yeah, I fucking cancel. <laughs> and then I checked my email. And I had the same fucking notice. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. I also am still paying for the electricity bill there. I oh, found out. Oh, fuck, that's right. So awful because they, they charge you quarterly. And I thought that when you move out, the real estate agent does it because I never signed up no, for energy. It's a fucking scam. I, the same thing happened to my place down here, six candy court, if anyone's interested. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, it was actually my apartment it yeah. in, in Quest when I moved out. Quest Frankston, if anyone's Quest, interested. Unit 810. Quest, no, um, actually, but yeah. Yeah. When you Pop by if you would like to hear a domestic in the in the apartment <laughs> next door. <laughs> Bit too much? No, nah, it's real. It's real. <laughs> happened. Happened. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so they sign you up to water or electricity, mm. and then you have to cancel it yourself. I've yeah. been living in Candy Court number six, by the way, for six yeah. months. Yeah, and then I get a call, and they're like, "You owe us eighteen dollars, and you have for six months." I was like, "I haven't lived there for twelve months. What are mm. you doing?" Anyway. Did they make you pay it? No, I'm not going to pay it. Yeah, I'm not yeah. going to do it either. It's bullshit. It is. Real estate agents should be run over with cars. Yes, that's like, true. Like, why can they... They don't... Real, being a real estate agent has got to be the easiest fucking job in the world. There you are, just have to rock up and go, mm. uh, you haven't mowed your lawn. You haven't mowed your lawn. If you don't mow your lawn, mm. guess whose kids are going to be homeless. I think the reason they are they do become arseholes is because they're, they're dealing they're with like filled horrible, terrible people. Yeah. And they, and they think that they were going to achieve much more in this life. And they thought that they would be the real estate agent that would sell the houses. Mm. But instead, because they're so fucking talentless and, and have no charisma, they yeah. got stuck in the fucking office doing emails. Yeah. Maybe and that, yelling at poor people that's, all day. That sounds, that sounds accurate. Yeah. But also maybe they're just young and taking the first step in their career and they're being, no, they're, my, they're my dealing with like my 10 real estate tenants. agent was was forty, and I hope she dies. <laughs> she was the worst cunt on planet Earth. Yeah, and some she of them was are also retarded. Some of them are terrible. Remember that where I used to live, fifteen Marine Street. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it I should get edit that out. No, it had a um a Clive Palmer sign in it during the election. I drove past it one day. Yeah, I know. Yeah, oh whoever whoever moved in knows what they want, uh, but they don't know what they'll get. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, see, the real estate agent there, she rocks up one day unannounced to do an inspection, which I then found out is illegal, but I was so flustered by it that I let her in, and the mm. house was a fucking mess. Yeah, I think you were working there at the, the time. I was, like, out for lunch. So yeah, you luckily you were out for lunch. I texted you and I said, do not fucking come back because we were not supposed to be running a business through there, right? This is the problem with real estate agents. They don't let you do anything illegal. Uh, and she, she comes in and, and, and she starts inspecting the, the stove top. She's like, this isn't clean. clean. And I was like, it's my fucking oven. I didn't clean it. What do you want? I didn't know you were coming. This is unannounced. It's, a six, it's not a six month like inspection, is it? No, it was unannounced. It was a surprise one, mm. right? She was like, she goes, oh, I was in the area. thought I would come in. Clean. And then she goes in the garage where I'm like running Luke and Lewis and my stuff and all your work shit and the desk and everything. And I would... I had drilled 
into the brick wall, like <laughs> with industrial speakers. screws, a giant softbox light with a metal bar and it's like super illegal, super damaging to the building. Mm. And uh, she pops her head in the garage and goes, yep, all looks good here. And I just wanted to, I just wanted to like look her in the face and go, you're a fucking moron. <laughs> you're so stupid and you're a bad person. You're a fucking idiot. And then, uh, and then I didn't do that. And then she left the house and she was like, oh, the garden needs maintenance. Uh, you need it. You need to do the gardening. And I said, you need to give me notice before you come over here ever again. <laughs> and she goes, I'm sorry. I said, uh, you can't come to my house without telling me you're coming to the house. She goes, I was just in the area. And I said, okay, cool. Well, next time you're in the area, ask me if you can come over and I'll <laughs> let you know. Right yeah. Yeah. There was that, there was that time that you didn't know when we were living in Hobart that there was like that six month rental inspection. That's right. And the house was a sty. Well, horrible. Was I even in the house at the time? Yeah, you were. Yeah, that's and, right. And the woman, you were on the phone, but the woman just walked in and Rosie and I looked at each other like, oh, fuck. The bathroom mm. was a mess. It was horrible. My yeah. room, of course, was terrible. In my defense, I didn't agree to it either at that time. They yeah. said, oh, we want to do an inspection on this time. And I was like, oh, I'll tell them no later. Yeah. And then they just showed up. Kings. Yeah. I like it. I, I, I think the respect... There's a lot of respect there. With that we should, we should be giving them, rather. No. We owe them a lot of respect. Why? What the fuck do we owe? A that's real estate a, agent a bold is a, move. A real estate agent is a middleman. Yeah. Between the kind who owns the building and the person who lives in it. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm, I fully agree. I've just had one nice one, so I'm kind of biased. Yeah, yeah no, that's, there is, when you get a nice one, it's, it's a blessing. Because mm. they're like, oh my God. They know that I'm a human, and this, is, and I'm not like a product. You, if you're, if you have a nice one, like you're their first ever tenant ever. Yeah, because they're not burned. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I, I bet they all fucking hate their tenants too. Especially in Frankston, I think it would be pretty bad. Mm. Yeah, I really felt, I really felt like, um, you know, what I felt like, I felt like, um, when I when I finished high school, or when I was almost finished high school, I'd been in high school. I was maybe in year ten, so I'd been there for like three years, almost four years, and I was a fucking menace. And then my little brother started high school. Mm. Um, and uh, when he was in year seven, on his first week, they did roll call, and uh, they went, Arthur Spears, and he went, here. And the teacher went, Spears, huh? Is Lewis your brother? And he, and he went, yeah, Lewis is my brother. And he went, oh, okay. Heard a lot about you, Spearses. And then he had a horrible high school experience, yeah. despite being nowhere near as bad as me. Yeah, and he ended up boy. leaving school. <laughs> so I felt like my little brother I, uh, as the tenant. I was a good tenant. I was a horrible tenant, but they didn't know that. <laughs> you know, I was one of those secretly terrible tenants. Got my bond back and everything. Fucking robbed them. Uh, but I felt like, oh, because of all of the horrible shit that other tenants have done to this poor woman, I... I'm getting harshly treated. <laughs> Felt like my little brother because of all the horrible shit I said and did to teachers. They were like, oh man, this, this little kid's going to be a cunt too. <laughs> and he was, but only because they turned him into that. And that's and that's the cycle of war. I can just remember the night in Hobart, 25 South Street, anyone wondering. Yep. That, uh, I was just sitting... Pay us a visit, tell them kill and send <laughs> Check the mail. <laughs> uh, no, don't do that. That's illegal. Uh I can remember the night waking up to the sound of rats going yeah. in the walls. Yeah. I should have gotten all of my money back. Hey. Yeah. Did you not get all of it, of it back? I, I never got, I didn't get any of it back. I got my bond back. Yeah. But I never got like any rent money back at all. We were living with rats for six months. Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> See, yeah. this is your problem. You're like, what do you mean? Why would you get money back if you were living with rodents? What's the problem? Yeah, that's pretty bad. You should be grateful to have a room. And they were, <laughs> they were like, yeah, there is nothing we can do, so suck it up. Mm. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, That's literally what they said. They were like, oh, well, it's because you live near a wharf. I was like, okay. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, so the reason your house burnt down was because we built the wiring wrong. All right. <laughs> It's similar to like when they build houses on pl on floodplains, and then mm. the houses flood, and they're like, "What? That's crazy." Yeah, it's bizarre. I don't know why they do that. I think it's 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 cheap. People like move. I guess it's built before they realize it's a flood. Actually, I bet they all fucking know. I think they do know. Because they would all know. 
my mum was telling me when she was growing up, they lived on a house that they knew was on a floodplain. Mm. The house flooded, devastated their entire family. Mm. And they're like, oh, well, we saw this one coming. <laughs> yeah. That's so crazy. I remember where I used to live. Where's that? Uh, none of your business because my parents <laughs> still live there. Um, <laughs> uh, it was on like a really, really floodable area, but they were lucky. They were on like a, a slope on the top of it. Yeah. And one day there was a horrible flood and, <laughs> and our road went all the way. It was on a big hill and went all the way down and it didn't touch our house at all. But down the end of the street, the, everything was fucked. Yeah. So dad being the hippie that he is got his surfboards <laughs> out and, and, and the, the street was flooded, but it never made it to any of our houses or any of our neighbors. So we had a great time. We would surf down the street, Obviously, we didn't know it was shit water, right? But we're surfing down the street, and it was awesome. We go, wee! We get to the end of the street. Yeah. There's people on the street crying, <laughs> holding their dogs. No. You know, try, there was one desperate man tr trying to unclog a drain, going, help, I need help, <laughs> trying to, un to save his home. And then we go, oh, this is really sad. We go back to the top. Wee! Oh. And then we had to stop because we started getting looks. Started getting looks. And that's yeah, like, from people going, oh "Can God. you please stop having fun? My life has been ruined, and I'm crying." <laughs> really good. R.I.P. But yeah, I uh, yeah, they died. I saw um, <coughs> Jim Jeffries, and he was oh, that's right. Sorry, so fucking good. He performed for like over two hours, and like sometimes other comedians tell me that my shows are too long. Like I perform for too long. I usually go for an hour and a half, mm. but I fucking I think it's great. Like, as a performer and also as an audience member, when I got, like, two hours from Jim, I was like, oh, my God. I just wanted to drink this. So fucking amazing yep. that he can do that and hold my attention for that long. Uh, so, yeah, when, when I saw Lime Cordial in April, they went for an hour and a half, and mm. I thought that was fucking amazing. I think that's cool. Yeah, so many music acts will go for two hours. Sometimes even... I heard Elton John was doing three hours. Good on him. That's long, but he's also fucking Elton John. It's his last two ever. Mm. He'll die soon. So go for it. But I, I always think like, man, sometimes like at the comedy festival, you're limited to like 55 minutes max a lot of the time. Yeah. Um, and uh, luckily Luke and I did not have to do that this year because we it was our venue we were running. But a lot of them are like 55 minutes max. And I always feel like, ah, oh, fuck, I wanted more from that or I wanted to put or as an audience member I'm like man that wasn't enough or as a performer I'm like fuck that was like I felt like I, I didn't get to do the full show like what I wanted to do um, but yeah Jim like Jim and Amos Gill actually just were like another reminder of like <laughs> why you can't get good here Yeah, I saw that and I was like oh man like that's what happens that's what happens when you leave the country and you start geeking was it Red like, Labour? huh? Rod Laver or no? Know. He did a weird venue. I think it was it was the show that I bought tickets for in uh, oh, 2019 right, yeah. for 2020. Yeah, and then I think right. it, I think the original show was maybe it was definitely an arena. I can't remember what one, but uh, he had to do like the convention center across like two or maybe even four shows. Yeah, so it was five thousand people twice. Did you go with Luke? Uh, Luke was there, but uh, we were not together. Oh, rough breakup with the show. Oh. No, we would <laughs> we were seated separately because I think at the time we bought tickets sitting next to each other in separate transactions. Oh, okay, yeah. But then it must have just split us up and seated us wherever we could. Yeah, with okay. the rescheduled one, you didn't get a choice. So it was just me and Jazz sitting together. Um, but it was I thought it was fucking phenomenal. Uh. Really great stuff. And he, he does, like, uh, when he comes to Australia, he does all this material that would just not work in America. And you can tell he really enjoys it. Yeah. Like, he was doing jokes about fucking, like, uh, like coon cheese, changing the name to chia cheese, and uh, just, like, foods that we only have here. And, like, uh, just, yeah, stories about Australia that you would only get if you were here. And it's really cool. Um but you can definitely like see the difference between like a comedian who has been living out of Australia and doing like clubs all the time and and uh, the the skill ceiling that we have here. Uh, so it's I don't know. I just see it. I'm like just reminded. I'm like, man, that's the goal. It's really cool. Um, 
Also, just good to see like an Australian doing very well. Yeah, I love it when an Australian blows up and then comes home. It's the coolest thing to me. Whether it's a comedian or a musician, I love it when they do their like. All right, I'm coming back home to her. Everyone's like, yeah. It's the only time you'll ever see Australians happy for someone else's success is when they blow up outside of Australia. Except for Kid Leroy. People fucking hate that guy. Yeah, that's that to me was weird. Although I understand the frustrations of, of him getting sick after he went to a nightclub for fucking ages. Yeah, that's But true. also, the kid is... Well, how old is he? Like, 19? Yeah, he's so young. 19? I think he's like max 20, I think. Oh no, maybe he was like eighteen. I don't know. He's like he, I think he's a teenager. He, he's he's still very young. He yeah. was talking about not being able to go to clubs in America, so he's younger than twenty one. I think under twenty five is very young for a superstar. Oh so like fucking that. for a for a, anyone. Like I yeah. feel like I've I've worked out like the type of person that I am. Yeah, around like twenty four, twenty five. Yeah, and I was like, oh, I'm this guy, and yeah. then I can continue to do that, and I won't do these weird things that I that I didn't like. And yeah, like, of course, some kid who has never been to a bar and then all of a sudden is like the most famous person on the planet has all this fucking money and uh, and can and is coming home will want to celebrate and will probably make a mistake and go, oh, fuck, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Kind of fucked up my show. But also, going to the, <laughs> the event and then finding out at the event after like an hour that he's not getting on stage. You'd be dirty. I would be very angry. Yeah. Guys, uh, Keelan is is uh, is gonna go away for a few months. When are you back? Uh, I'll be back end of October because Joseph Green's comedy little special is gonna be start of November. Nice. If anyone's interested in that, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Let me know when it's on sale, and I'll tell everybody about it. Yeah. Um, that's gonna be cool. And enjoy your trip. I'm incredibly jealous. Thank you, man. I'm looking forward to it. You're gonna have a big shock when you come back and you see my new head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, halfway. Because you're, you're leaving at my worst. And yeah. you're going to come back and I'll have really nice teeth. If I, I have any uh, any great stories, can I come and do a follow up? Yep. Uh, maybe, yeah. <laughs> no, you can come back. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. All right. Bye, guys. Get tickets. Loosebears.com. I'm going everywhere. Uh, it's on the website. Uh, Victoria, New South Wales, Queensland, uh, Adelaide, and Perth. All right. Bye. Bye.